Are you okay? That's the question people ask online. Are you okay? This is this kind of uh, mantra that people ask about mental health. I mean, uh, should we be okay being locked down in a fucking civilization for six months in our houses as virtual prisoners walking in an open air prison? We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, are you okay? I mean, you know, I think I'm more, more like, um, uh, you know, I feel more like Anthony Perkins or whatever. Is that a fly or whatever? Uh, I think everybody is, is suffering a little bit uh, in lockdown. I mean, you know, it just makes sense. I mean, isolation and um, these kind of ridiculous measures that have been taken are not good for anybody. You're not good for anybody's mental health, are they? I don't think anybody's feeling that fucking wonderful, you know? I don't know what's happened to suicides and stuff. I'm sure they've doubled. I mean, I get out into nature a little bit. I do some walking, you know, try and get out for my allotted one hour a day. Gee, I'll be running out soon, but hurry home before the Gestapo come by. I mean, this is the kind of world we're living in. People ask about fucking mental health. It's ridiculous. Human liberties have been thrown out the window over something that, you know, like essentially something that's like SARS or H1N1, which we never locked down for and we got through fine without anyone, any of us know even fucking getting it. So it's quite ridiculous, I think, what's going on. And this whole concern for mental health, or whatever, it's just another nanny state fucking bullshit that we're being forced to endure um, in this time when we're all kind of living in a kind of um, open prison. I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, what the hell is going on? I mean, is this some kind of globalist agenda? It's constantly, you know, suggested this is like lockstep. This thing, if you look it up, lockstep online, um, you know, a Rockefeller thing, you know, where a kind of virus is brought in. Now, of course, if you go to Snopes, I'll tell you, oh, look, Steve, it's not, it's, it's like an H1N1 virus I'm talking about. Okay, well, it's not H1N1 virus, it's the coronavirus or COVID-19 or whatever. It's the same kind of thing. I mean, this is what fact checkers do. They, they, they niggle on one point. If they find one point that's slightly different to a conspiracy, they, they, they say the whole thing is untrue. No, um, the Rockefeller Foundation has outlined exactly what they wanted to do. Now we're living in a kind of lockstep kind of situation. And um, I think it's ridiculous. And obviously, no wonder people's mental health is suffering at this time. I think to stay safe. Um, you need to get out, you need to read a lot, use this time, you know, to be more spiritual, to stay in contact with friends, to read and write and do anything, do creative activity. That's the way to stay sane, not to listen to fucking bullshit, you know, health authorities. What the fuck is anyone from mental health going to do to help anyone anyway? I mean, you ever seen these councils? They make you want to kill yourself. I mean, you know, these fucking losers who work for these mental health fucking government outreach. Is this more? I mean, you'll notice this too about the lockdown. You'll notice everyone is lost their job at the moment, except for government people. Everyone in government, all the bureaucrats and all the bullshit, all the people who work for mental health, um, you know, Victoria or whatever, they're, reckon, you know, they're hiring more people because this is the kind of world they want. They want a world where just the government is, is, is employed. And this is the way to totalitarian disaster, in my opinion. So no wonder people are upset mentally. And the way to end it is to fucking end this um, lockdown and to uh, come out of it slowly, perhaps, and then put people back to work and get on with life. Uh, and stop this fucking bullshit because that's what it is thank you for listening